whispers. In the heart of a decaying city, there was a place known as the Dead Room, a crumbling abandoned building on the edge of town where the stench of rot and despair hung thick in the air. It was here that a group of zombies, once human now shuffled and writhed in their eternal prison, the zombies, unlike the mindless creatures of lore, retained fragments of their former selves. Thoughts, emotions, and memories swirled in their decaying minds, tangled with an insatiable hunger for flesh. They were trapped in a horrific limbo, aware of their monstrous existence, yet powerless to change it. Among them was Jake, a former construction worker who now paced the room with a guttural growl. Fucking hell, this place reeks, he snarled, his voice a ragged whisper. Beside him, Claire, once a loving mother, gnawed on a bone, her once kind eyes now void of warmth. Shut up, Jake, she hissed, bits of rotting flesh dropping from her lips. We're all in the same goddamn boat. In the corner, Hank, a former war veteran, sat staring blankly at the wall. This is worse than any fucking war, he muttered, his mind replaying the horrors of battles past, now mingled with the grotesque reality of his undead life. The room was filled with a chorus of grunts, moans, and occasional bursts of crude language. Each zombie tormented by their own thoughts, trapped in a relentless cycle of hunger and regret. What's the point of all this? Moaned Linda, a once vibrant artist, now reduced to a skeletal husk. We're just rotten away, piece by piece. Shut your trap, Linda, Jake snapped. We ain't dead yet. Their conversations, if they could be called that, were more like the echoes of their former lives. They argued, reminisced, and occasionally laughed, a ghastly parody of the human interactions they once knew. As they languished, a new presence entered the room. Unlike the others, this figure moved with purpose and malice. His eyes, still flickering with a semblance of life, scanned the room with a predatory gleam. Who the fuck is this guy? Claire spat, her instincts on edge. The figure, once a scientist named Dr. Morgan, had discovered a twisted way to maintain a sliver of his humanity. By consuming the flesh of the recently dead, he retained his cognitive abilities, albeit at a terrible cost. Good evening, friends, Morgan crooned, his voice smooth but dripping with malice. I have an offer for you. Jake snarled. What the hell do you want? Morgan smiled, revealing teeth stained with blood. I can give you release, an end to this miserable existence. Hank, ever the skeptic, grunted. What's the catch? Morgan's smile widened. A simple trade. One of you stays behind to take my place while I walk free. The room fell silent, the offer hanging heavy in the air. The zombies, torn between their desire for freedom and the horror of further betrayal, stared at each other with newfound intensity. Linda was the first to speak. I'll do it. No, you won't, Jake growled. I'll go. The bickering resumed, each zombie wrestling with their own self-loathing and desperation. Finally, it was Claire who made the decision. Fuck it. Let's draw straws. They scavenged the room for anything that could serve the purpose and settled on broken matchsticks. Each zombie drew, the tension palpable. In the end, it was Hank who held the short straw. Figures, he muttered, a grim acceptance in his voice. Morgan's eyes gleamed with satisfaction. Very well, it settled. As the others watched, Hank stepped forward. Morgan placed a hand on his decaying shoulder and whispered something in his ear. With a final, sorrowful glance at his companions, Hank crumbled to the floor, his remaining life force siphoned away. Morgan straightened, 
a new vitality surging through him. Enjoy your freedom, he sneered, before striding out of the room, leaving the remaining zombies to their fates. As the door slammed shut, the zombies were left in stunned silence, the weight of their decision settling over them. And then, one by one, they began to laugh, a hollow, haunting sound that echoed through the dead room. The twist came the next day, when the townsfolk found the building empty, save for a note scrawled in blood on the wall. We're free, but we're still damned. The legend of the dead room spread, a chilling reminder of the horrors lurking within and the price of desperation. As the chilling tale draws to a close, I extend my deepest gratitude to you, dear viewer, for braving the shadows with me. Your presence has added an extra layer of spine-tingling suspense to our journey through the unknown. If you found yourself captivated by the darkness that lurks within, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more bone-chilling tales that will haunt your dreams. Your support keeps the terror alive, ensuring that we can continue to explore the darkest corners of the human psyche together. Until next time, may the shadows protect you or consume you.